what is going on lads welcome back to another video now almost a year ago today I bought this Focus ST and over the year I've done several modifications to the car and in today's video we're going to take you through all the different mods that we've got on the Focus to this point any future mods that I'm considering doing or got in the pipeworks um, but yeah if there's any mods that I've missed out and you boys want me to do or you think would be good for the car let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to consider those um, not going to promise that I'm going to do them just in case someone comes out with like stage three straight away so which means I've got to change my clutch change my drive shafts um, so yeah that's like over a grand so I'm not going to do that straight away but yeah let me know in the comments below what you fancy in terms of mods for my focus if you go ahead and enjoy the video make sure to drop it a like subscribe if you are new to the channel um, we tend to I try and upload as much as I can with all different mods to the focus um, and just general focus content also just before we get going with the mods I did do this type of video of both my last cars so go out go and check those out if you haven't already I'll put a blinking card on the top corner now so you can check out my previous cars and exactly what I've done to those now the focus isn't hugely modified but what I've done I think is quite tasteful um, not too nothing too crazy yeah I'll take you through all the mods now so if we start with the exterior first, just because that's the first thing you're greeted with with the car. Um, suspension wise, we're running IBAC lowering springs with a 20 mil on the drop and a 25 mil drop on the back. If anything, I would want the back to drop a tiny bit more because I've still got a bit of an arch gap there. Um, but yeah, if I could, then I'd upgrade to coilovers or something like that in the future. But I think the, the drop on it at the moment isn't too bad and it just makes it look really nice without going overkill, slammed, scraping on the floor and absolutely everything. Uh, it does scrape occasionally because I've also got the RS parts, front splitter and side skirts. So occasionally we do catch the front end on speed bumps and really poor roads. But it's going to be expected when you're lowering a car. So you've just got to take it slow and deal with it. With the... So again, sticking with the outside, the exhaust system is a mongoose cat back exhaust system. Um, I'm hoping to, I've got a sports cat as well, mongoose sports cat, I'm hoping to fit that to the car soon. Um, but when I was recently fitting it, I had some difficulties. So that is not on the car yet, but hopefully we'll be going on the car soon. And then we might look into doing a downpipe and various other exhaust bits in the future. But at the moment it is just a cat back on the car. Um, I've tinted the windows, I've got those tinted at Pentagon in Manning Tree. Shout out to those guys. I've used them for all my cars now and they always do a great job. Um, so if you need to get your windows tinted, definitely recommend those boys. And it's actually a really good price. I think the, wi the window tints for this um, was about 120, 130 quid. So not too bad at all in my opinion. Um, Whilst we're on the rear of the car, I've also got a rear wiper delete there, as you can see. I wanted to get the killer wipers one, but I couldn't find it on eBay or anything. I think you've got to go directly to killer wipers. Um, so I just got one off eBay. I think it was about a fiver. So just really makes the rear end look neat and tidy. Um, and I don't really use my rear wiper when I've got it anyway. So there's no, I'm not really missing out on anything there necessarily. On the back of the car, we've got 15 mil spacers. They are Dorenza spacers. Again, I picked them off, up, picked them up off eBay. They were about 75 pounds um, from the top of my head, and they've done the job so far. Um, I was thinking about getting some for the front as well, but I haven't decided on whether I will or not. One down to the cost, and two, I have heard that on the front, if you're fitting spacers, then it can help to ruin your drive shafts which these cars definitely don't need help ruining them because they just tear through them anyway so if i can i'll probably avoid it um, but i think the back definitely helps makes it look that little bit wider um, and it's got quite a nice fitment it probably could do with going a bit more maybe 20 mil um, i know a lot of people do 20 mil on the back 20 mil on the front um, so yeah 15 20 mil you shouldn't have any problems with that if you're doing it yourself um, again, whilst we're on the back of the car, I've got LED rear license plate bulbs. You won't be able to see them now because we're in the daylight, but they are uh, LED units, so they are really, really bright. I'll see if I can throw in a clip from when it's dark. Obviously not now, but 
um, so you can see exactly how they look. Like I said, they are really, really bright, which is nice. And I've also got the gel plates on the back there. Again, just picked them up off eBay. Um, other things that we've got on the outside of the vehicle is we've got, I think this is a 10 mil raised spoiler. 10 or 15 mil pick again i picked up the kit off ce uk or car enhancements uk for anyone that doesn't know or hasn't been on car enhancements uk before um, really good kit really simple i know gcn the pt done a tutorial on how to do it and actually i also did a video on it so again check that out it's on the channel i'll put a blinking card on the screen now so you can go ahead and watch that and i'll yeah i'll put a card so you can check it out and probably put a link for the kit as well in the description so check the description if you do want to go ahead and do this yourself um, but in terms of the outside there's not really too much to go through obviously in my most one of my most recent videos I sprayed the plastics black gloss black um, we've got the sticker inlays for the wing emblems because they faded so I replaced those with brand new red ones so they look nice and tidy Again, in one of my recent videos, I changed the alloy wheels, so they're all looking clean now. Let me know if I should change the colour of these. They're silver at the moment. A lot of people do the um, sort of gunmetal grey combo with the, uh, the performance blue. And I think it looks really nice. But yeah, let me know whether I should keep those silver or grey or black or whatever colour. Let me know in the comments below. Again, in the most, most recent video, I fitted the full performance sun strip. We did have another one on there previously, but we got rid of that. That's a bit of Ford branding, looks pretty decent as well. So, yes, that is mainly all the modifications on the outside of the vehicle. Obviously, again, we fitted the Sunspot grills. Um, again, I'll put a blinking card and all the video links in the description or on screen now so you can watch those if you want to um, they're not they're not really tutorials it's just me documenting the mods that I'm doing to the car so I can look back at it in the future and think what a prat I was wasting all this money uh, yeah so yeah like I said that is mainly all the mods for the outside of the car there's not too many like I said it's really lightly modified if anything um, but I really like the mods that I've done to the car so far and like I said, I'm open to ideas for further mods in the future. So if we come into the interior of the car as well, again, fairly standard, um, or it is a pretty much standard uh, ST3 interior. You've got the full lever of Caros. Um, I haven't really changed a whole lot in here. I did start to wrap my um, center console here. Now, I did this piece, ran out of time, and said that I was going to do the rest of the fascia at another point, and now I can't find the wrap. So, yeah, I need to go ahead and buy some more wrap, but it might not be the same, so I'm in a bit of a predicament there, um, but hopefully we'll be wrapping that in the future. Whilst we're on the sort of gear knob section, we've got an AirTech short shifter fit to the car. Um, again, just makes the gear changes that much less of a throw. As you can see, first to second there's not really a big throw at all and it's really nice when you're driving and just have a short snappy throw on the car another thing what i've been meaning to see for absolutely ages is change this gear shifter as you can see it's starting to wear away so it looks a little bit tacky um, i need to get that changed at some point to something that's a bit cleaner um, probably an mtech gear knob i know they do custom ones for the focus and they look really nice so i'll probably end up going with one of those at some point so yeah that is mainly the exterior interior stuff um, i've done a few mods to the engine bay so we'll go around there as well and i'll show you what we've got cracking inside there right lads so this is the mark ii focus engine bay like I said, I've done a few things here. We've got the AirTech, um, why is it? Well, it's the RS Air Scoop made by AirTech. Just redirects the airflow to the Group A induction kit, which is a RAM Air induction kit I've got there with an RS RAM Air ECU holder. I've also got the RS Fact Pipe, just cleans up the engine bay that much better. Um, otherwise, you're left with all sorts of cables going around here and it just looks really scrappy. So, 
got rid of that, got the RS fact pipe again. I've done videos on all of these except the induction kit. Didn't do a video on that because it was just a bit of a ball ache and I got a bit frustrated as usual. But yeah, those are the main bits. We've got a CEUK dress up kit around the edges there. Just swaps out the horrible plastic bolts um, for coloured ones. Obviously I went for blue being that I've got a blue focus. Um, we've got the Symposer Delete as well in there. I think that's pretty much the main the main bits. Let me check my list and see. A few moments later. No, so I think that's pretty much all the mods on the car. Like I said, it is lightly modified. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what other mods you want me to do to the car. Um, what you think I might have missed. Um, anything like that, drop me a comment below. I try and respond to every comment. Um, and we've got a high success rate at the moment of 100%. So if you do have a question, just drop it in the comments below and I will be sure to respond. But yeah, thank you boys for watching this video. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. And that is my Mark II modified ST. Till I get up, time is barely on our side